Solomon Hardy is one of the new light allies introduced with Season 3, Scribe of Avalon, but there's plenty of things you should know about him. Let me show you everything. Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. In this overview, I will present everything I have discovered so far about Salomon, the new doctor in town who also happens to be a faction ally. Besides medical services, you can also purchase aid items from him. Getting to know him better is also a possibility. You may even discover some small details about the Brotherhood of Steel in California. That's right! Let's not forget how you can customize his medical bay and even ask him for rent. As I said, there's a lot of things to go over, so let's begin. Alright, first things first, who is Solomon and how can you get him? Right now you can unlock this new ally for free by reaching rank 50 in season 3. Then just head to the scoreboard and unlock the good doctor. Then build this personal medical bay at your camp to spawn him, just like any other ally really. When you first summon him, he will explain his personal goals to reach as many patients as possible in Appalachia and why he wants to stay at your camp. There's some Brotherhood lines if you have completed the Steel Dawn quest line. I picked some of the most bizarre dialogues here just for testing purposes, and it seems like all options lead to the same outcome. Solomon will stay at your camp, and that's it. Now, he will also warn you his services are not free. After all, supplies do have a cost, and Solomon needs to keep his stock up. After this short initial talk, things start to get interesting. Well, one of the main dialogue categories is about the Brotherhood of Steel. I wonder why. Solomon is a Brotherhood member, and even though he is not a very old member, he seems to know a great deal about what's going on with the organization. You can ask him why did he decide to join, and even about his thoughts about everything altogether. Eventually, he will share some details about the Brotherhood of Steel in California, a small spoiler here as shown in the footage. He tells you things run quite differently there, the Brotherhood focus on hoarding and safeguarding tech more than helping people, which is the opposite of the Brotherhood in Appalachia. You can ask him other questions too from this point on, but I won't spoil them here. I think it's safe to say Solomon has the type of dialogue you would expect from a Brotherhood member. It's not a lot, but it's a fair amount to keep the immersion going, if you know what I mean. Now, the dialogue options don't end here. You can also get to know the good doctor at a personal level by asking him about where is he from, about his military past, and even about his therapist skills. You can also ask him about his not-so-common name, Solomon. Just like Yasmin, there is a decent amount of background story attached to this character. But let's not forget, this is a light ally, so there are no personal or daily missions associated with Solomon. Just services, which is exactly the next point. If you have already unlocked Solomon, you surely know what he has to offer. It's nothing out of this world. In fact, if you are a veteran player, you most likely have all the devices or camp items to replace him. But if you don't, Solomon is probably going to become your best friend. How comes? Well, he can heal you, he can cure your diseases and even remove your radiation and mutations too if you don't equip the Star Genes perk. So this new ally is basically merging multiple items in one. He can replace the decontamination shower, the symptomatic and your own bed in terms of HP regen. The downside here is that every service comes with a cost. You need to pay a few caps per healing, but hey, his prices are very low. It costs 10 caps per HP and disease cure and 20 caps per rad's heal. Told you, it's very accessible and that's great. Moving forward, his services can be very useful, but are there any conditions or cooldowns? Well, I tested it for you and I only found a couple of them. The first one is obviously your caps. If you cannot afford his fees, then he will not heal anything, as to be expected. The second condition is your own health. If you're in a good state, 
let's say almost full HP, Solomon will point out you only have a scratch and refuse treatment. If you ask him to remove rads when you barely have any, he will simply tell you to drink more water and get more sleep. That's solid advice right there. His answer is the same if you try to cure a disease when you have none. Apart from these two conditions, I don't think there are any other limitations to his services. Next, do let me tell you that sadly Solomon cannot heal your addictions. I tested this mostly because on the Fallout wiki it said Solomon had his service as well, but it was a small mistake. Solomon cannot do that, at least for the time being. Despite having a therapist dialogue option, he is not able to replace the mighty power of the addictol. Anyway, the wiki page has been corrected already, so if you were confused before, don't be. Addictions are not Solomon's area of experience expertise, so don't waste your time trying to get him to cure that for you because it's not going to happen. Besides his four services as shown already, Solomon is also a unique trader and he sells only 8 items at random. Every time you relog or serve a jump, his inventory pool will reset and get randomized to just a few 8 items as you can see. Moreover, as every other ally with trading options, you cannot sell anything to him. The prices also seem to be randomized as you can see in the footage. He was selling steam packs for 57 caps at first then later for 59 caps and lastly for 54 caps. And no, I did not change my charisma or perks, it's just his supply and demand price adjustments, I guess. Now, you may be wondering, does charisma work on him? Yes, of course it does, just like any other trader. You can lower his prices with the hard bargain perk and by boosting your charisma too. It might be a good idea to do both if you want to save caps since his prices are quite high in terms of supplies. Just saying. Before we move on to some heavy bugs and hidden features, do let me tell you that you can customize Solomon's medical bay. Yep, Solomon is basically the only ally in which you can fully customize his personal item. You can literally add items all over the bay, on the table, on the oxygen bottles, on his doctor's bag, even on the medical wall or table borders. I took some time to, well, work on mine and I made it into one-of-a-kind medical bay, as you can see. There's really a lot you can do here. Too bad we barely have any medical items to match the hospital health team, but oh well. At least you can add all sorts of small items and move away from the standard look. You can also complement the concept with items around the bay. I added a white chair and even a carpet, for example. It really matches my medical ward too, so I'm loving it. Now, do let me break the bad news to you, Solomon is a rather buggy ally. Quite often he bugs out at the medical bay. By that, I mean he will not move away from it ever, which means you won't be able to remove his personal item or replace him with another ally, until of course you trick the system. You can always relog and rush to remove his medical bay while he is still in the process of spawning. That's the only solution I know for this sort of bug in order to replace him while bugged. I actually left my game running while recording for around 10 minutes and look, he never left his med bay. So this is a very great example of how bad things can get. Anyway, if you don't want to replace him, this bug shouldn't bother you too much. I mean, he just stays there in place, you can still talk to him, so it could be much worse, let's put it that way, as you are about to find out too. There is another common bug you might experience every now and then with Solomon at your camp. I had it twice already in just two days and it's exactly when Solomon bugs after your first interaction. After the first dialogue he gets stuck in place and you are not able to talk to him anymore. Every time you try to talk to him you will get this sort of error message the individual is busy when in reality he's not. Re-adding his medical bay or even scrapping and placing a new one will not fix the issue. I tried both ways and as you can see he kept spawning bugged on the same exact place he bugged out. Like some sort of coding freeze happened, I think. Again, the only way to fix this is by relogging or changing servers to fully refresh him. 
When you do this, he should spawn at his med bay and return back to normal. I know it's bothersome to be always server jumping to fix this sort of bug, but think the other way. At least there is something you can do to fix or go past the bug, like most bugs in Fallout 76, so I think it's not all that bad, really. Alright, now there is a funny dialogue option where you can ask Solomon to pay rent for staying at your place. But don't get fooled, this is a tricky attempt from the devs to try and make you think you can profit with Solomon. He will never pay any fees, by the way, or even address your request altogether. In fact, he will always tell you he has an urgent patient to take care of, so maybe another day you can talk to him about this, but that day never comes. He always says the exact same thing, and the conversation gets cut off. Smart guy, huh? Another interesting dialogue option I noticed is about the Wastelander's inoculation. If you completed the Wastelander's quest line, you can ask him about the Scorched Plague and if he has been vaccinated yet, to which he answers yes. He also says he didn't have a chance to thank our overseer, and then he quickly realizes we are actually the creator of the ingenious Nuka Cola using our blood. Yummy yummy. It's a pretty funny talk, and it's great to see small references to past events. I think it's a really nice touch in terms of story and immersion. Everything is connected in the end. Okay, to finish off, I noticed that Solomon has some reactive dialogue lines. When you come near him with certain conditions, let's say low HP, he will comment on how you need a couple of stitches or you're not supposed to be bleeding that much. He has different comments for low HP. He can also comment on other things, such as mutations. I caught him commenting on my scaly skin mutation, for example. Now, this could all be a coincidence, but I doubt it. I suspect he might have lines for rads and diseases as well, but then again, I would have to test more to be sure he does. Either way, if he really has reactive comments, I think that's awesome. It surely makes things feel more realistic and that surely improves the experience overall. At least, I think so. Now it's time for my final thoughts. Is Solomon a decent ally to have around? Well, I think it depends. His value is very relative. I would say Solomon is crazy useful for new players or even mule characters. You know, the type without many camp items and possibly missing key plans, such as the symptomatic and the decontamination shower, which provide basically the same services as Solomon, but for free. If you are a veteran player with all these items, then Solomon Solomon is pretty much useless in terms of value, you don't need his services even less pay for them. I mean, you already have them for free. You can still have him as a visual, you know, to match your medical ward if you have one or if you're a huge fan of the Brotherhood of Steel, but that's about it. I think Solomon has an opposite contrast value, he can either be really useful for new characters in particular or really useless for most veteran players. But that's okay, to balance things out we got Yasmin as well, which can provide some or a slight value to everyone, which is a full hunger and thirst bar for free every day. So <laughs> we got two new light allies with very different value propositions and I think that's totally normal. Well, that's my complete overview for Solomon Hardy. I hope you could learn something new here. I tried my best to test him and discover as many new things as possible. At least now, we have a doctor in the wasteland who is actually working as one, so that's a plus. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Arthur Branco. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And you can also support me even further by becoming a member or a patron. The links are always below the video. Now it's time for me to wrap things up. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. I hope you are having a wonderful time. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care, adios, bye bye!